Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Joan Lippis or hashtag Joni in Jerusalem, welcoming you again to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. Of course, we're working through our series on end times, and we're almost through with part one, the preface, as we're moving closer and closer and closer to the tribulation. Well, the title of today is Seven Years to Burn the Weapons. You heard me right, seven years to burn the weapons. Well, the final stage of the cleanup after the Ezekiel 38 war will be the burning of the, na of the weapons. So we're reading from Ezekiel chapter 39, verses 9 and 10a. Okay? Then those who dwell in the cities of Israel will go out and set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, the javelins and the spears, and they will make fires with them for seven years. They will not take wood from the field nor cut down any from the forests, because they will make fires with the weapons. Interesting, don't you think? What kind of weapons are they? Well, it might seem strange to us today, but there is an incendiary weapon that has been used in the Middle East. Thus, it would not be surprising if they were used in this war against Israel, especially since the land has been consumed by flooding, rain, great hailstones, fire, and brimstone. Though often these weapons are referred to as bombs, they're not in fact explosive. Incendiary weapons are designed to burn or to set fires. They are used as anti-personnel strikes or destroying sensitive equipment. The incendiary material is designed to penetrate plate metal and can thus go far beyond destroying human skin. These time and energy consuming requirements add to the mystery of the timing of the Ezekiel 38 war and its cleanup. So, as you've heard me say, I believe that this war is on our horizon. I believe it's gonna be very, very close. And that's why we need to be watching very carefully to what's happening. So that's why we wanna pray for Israel, that they will be prepared for a nuclear or a chemical war, which we have said in previous sessions, it looks as if that's gonna describe this war. So your prayers are really, really important. So I thank you for them. And don't forget to subscribe and to keep in contact with me. Amen. Amen. So with that, I do say, Lahitra Ot, Shalom from Jerusalem.